Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. The day that y'all have been waiting for is finally here. Well, kinda, not really. Um, someone released a pre-build of um, Atmosphere for Marico System. So currently it's working on Marico System, but it's not stable so I would not recommend it anyone to use it unless you just don't give a shit and you don't really care if your system breaks or not you can go ahead and do like me and just mess around if you care about your system i would suggest that you wait before doing any of this so as you can see this is a mariko switch light i'm just going to do this real quick Hold up um, for some reason it takes longer to boot on the switch light than it would on the regular switch so yeah as you can see this one is booted up atmosphere and I'm on the new MMC and as you can see this is a switch light so there's no way I can fake atmosphere on a switch light booting up just like this so let me go over to the computer and show you guys how to get this done if you don't care and you just want to try something out or you're desperate I, you accidentally updated your SXOS and you're not able to use it anymore I think you should be able to use this method and downgrade your EMU MMC but if you use generic, generic boat I would not suggest you attempt this because your fumes are burned so I don't think you'll be able to downgrade anyway let's go over to the PC and get this done okay this should be a very quick relatively easy process to get done I don't think a video is even needed to get this done but just for those who absolutely know nothing about the switch and they're wondering how they can get it working this is how you go about doing it if you don't know anything about the switch I highly suggest that you don't do this that's another thing but if you don't care like I said have it your way all right first I'm going to navigate to the SD card if you have a SD file setup that you made with SXOS, this is not going to work. If you have one that you, um, the SD, what's it called? The partition um, with your immunad on it, that should work, but you need a special config in order to do that. If you're using your SysNAD and you don't care, doesn't it doesn't matter. Anyway, let me see if I can bring this config up real quick. So you can just copy this all, um, copy this down. You're going to want to place that in here if you're using the partition. If you're not and you're using the SD files, this config is not going to work. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, the um, Emu MMC that I have set up, it's made with Hecate, so I don't need to worry about any of that. So what I'm going to do is delete majority of this stuff off the SD card. The only thing I'm going to keep is a uh, emu mmc put that, that and switch folder i'm going to delete everything else if you have other stuff you want to keep i suggest that you uncheck it so it doesn't delete it okay there we go this is the file that was leaked or pre-build or whatever someone got it off telegram and they sent it to me so just showing you guys i don't know if i'm going to put post a direct link to the telegram i'll ask for that or i'll just simply send this to host somewhere else and you can download it i haven't figured out what i'm gonna do as yet simply just copy this go to the sd card Okay, replace and I think that's it you don't need to do anything else special if you want to run your backups you need to add the patches I'll leave a link in the description for that so you can just simply copy over the patches and you'll be able to run your backup if you just want to test this out and you don't want to run any backups you just want to use homebrew cheats so on and so forth teams this is perfectly fine just what the hell is going on with my PC okay anyway simply hit eject okay I forgot one thing so let me um, fix that right now what you're going to do is go back to the SD card go to the bootloader and you're going to copy this INI file 
over and hit replace i'll also leave that in the description so you can get that this contains um the boot configurations so yeah like it uh, like you see i got this from deep sea you can make your own i usually make my own but i'm just doing this video real quick so i'm lazy and i don't feel like going through all of that so let me go back over to the switch like switch now okay so now that we are on the switch side of things i just reinserted the sd card hit the power button i'm just waiting for this to boot back up sometimes it boots instantly sometimes it takes a bit to boot up but the chip is currently glitching it's like on the xbox 360 with the rj uh, mod chip you have to wait until it glitches before it boots up and this is taking longer than usual i'm probably just going to speed this up so I don't waste too much of your time okay I guess yeah you can't see anything right there and the autofocus won't pick it up so I would have to manually focus this and that's gonna take forever I'm just gonna skip forward to where it's fully booted up so okay I guess it's booted up okay whatever simply hit option Go to SX Core, simply go to where it says clean up and then go to payload, select Hecat, launch, time and date doesn't really matter. Okay, here's where you, sorry, here's where you would normally see your EMU MMC setup or whatever. If it's not properly configured, you're not going to see anything there and it's going to boot to your SysNAD. If you don't want that to happen, make sure that it's perfectly set up and done. If you guys want me to make another video on how to switch over from SXOS to Atmosphere and keep all your files, just let me know in the comment section and I'll get working on that video. Anyway, hit launch. Okay. Let me see something. One second. Okay, I forgot something, so I had to go back and fix that. So, hit launch. You should see this configuration. Um, enable log. Boot Emu MMC. If you're using Emu MMC, if you're not and you're using Sys, simply use um, custom firmware Sys. Like I said, this is going to take a bit to boot. Okay, it's booting fast. Now, the first time I tried this, it took a minute or so to boot. Oh, I don't know what's different. Like I said, this is a alpha version, pre-built version. I don't know even what to call it. Okay. Here we go. Let me see if I can focus this. There we go. 16. 0 0.16.0. And let me show you. As you can see, combo apps working. There we go. Anyway, guys, that's how you go about getting atmosphere running on your Nintendo Switch Mariko unit currently. If you don't know what you're doing, do not mess with this because if you break your system, I am not responsible. So keep that in mind. I gave warning all throughout this video. If you're desperate and you have no other option, well, I guess you have no other option. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Really hope it helped and thanks for watching.